Hello everybody, welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Oxcano cigarette lighter charger. Now, maybe I'm dating myself calling it a cigarette lighter charger, ox charger, one of those circular round chargers in your car, whatever you may call it. It's got so many names nowadays. But this is a 45 watt USB-C charger on it for your car to give you a high speed charger that you can use to charge uh, your devices as you travel around in your car. We're gonna be talking about pros, cons, what you should know about it, and what uh, you may wanna consider before you buy it. Now, we'll put a link to this on Amazon down below if you wanna find it. I don't like talking about prices here because prices always change. So you can find a link in the show notes and in the first pinned comment of this YouTube video. Also, before I get into it, if you're new here, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Hopefully we can help you learn something new about the world around you. And starting with the Ray Kano charger here. I cover a whole range of technology and a lot more. Now real quick with this, this is a pretty standard car charger. You see it's just a cylindrical little tube here um, with a single USB-C charger here and a little indicator light that'll pop up on top. It does sit about 90% into your car um, charger, a little, but roughly this part here will stick out maybe a little bit more when you put it into your car. Now it's a 45 watt charger. And it seems to do pretty well, a good job of that. iPhones, Android devices, and more. I don't know if there's any phones on the market now that take more than 45 watts. If there are, leave me a comment, let me know. But this should max out charging for anything that takes a USB-C. Now this is USB-C, that smaller little charging port with it. This isn't a full size, come on, focus. This is not a full size USB. So you need a device or you need a cable that will support USB-C to whatever you need for your devices out there. Past that, there's really not a lot to say about this. In my testing, it does reach about 45 download. It did max out my Pixel 6 charging for rapid charging with it. Very pleased with the overall quality. iPhone Maxes, iPhone uh, 13, 12, 11, etc. should have no problems charging off of this device. Now the downside to it is it is a little slippery when you put it into the charger and getting it back out is not something that's a little easy. You kind of have to get a good grip and pull it out. This securely grab in there, which is good. I think for most people, once you install this in your car, you're going to go. The downside to it is it's a single charger. It's not two or three USB-Cs on it, which is nice because one of the things I've, a lot of these do, they advertise 45, but if you have two, you got to split 45 in half, for example. With this being a single 45 watt charger, it's pretty straightforward. You don't have to worry about, you know, am I getting a full charge out of it because somebody else is using the other port. So overall, if you just want a single USB-C that's very rapid charging to go from there, this is good. Even as cars begin to add in USB ports and even USB-C, not all of them support, for example, a 45 watt charger to get your maximum charging for your devices out there. This 45 watt also allows you to charge other bigger devices more than just a phone on it. As more and more devices switch over to USB-C power, you're able to charge a lot more from this than you'd be able to through a standard car USB and even the newer car USB-C. I do think some more higher end cars out there are starting to bring in more high end, high um, wattage USB-C chargers for your cars out there. But I think most cars still on the market, even in 2022, are vastly uh, underpowered for what they are offering, not giving you that true full supercharge that many people want. And this can do it. So if you're somebody who's busy, wants that quick charge as you drive from location to location, you may wanna look into getting a car charger like this one. I will put a link to it down below in the show notes so you can find it there. If you're new here, do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Hopefully we can help you learn something new. If you want to find this on Amazon, again, in the show notes and in the pinned first comment. Until next time, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it.